Once a quarter, we send out subscription boxes. This quarter, we did these corbels. They've already been out. We sent the video to our subscribers, but we had a bunch of people asking for us to share the video on our channel. So we're gonna show you how we make this chippy corbel from some MDF cutouts. You can actually use the exact process on any of our unfinished corbels. I'm gonna show you how you can assemble today's corbels. The number one thing to keep in mind when you're doing milk paint is it's totally unpredictable. So every time you use it, it might be a little bit different, but I'm hoping I can help you guys get the chippiest, coolest corbels ever. And don't forget to share them in the Jamie Ray Vintage group on Facebook when you get them finished, especially if you do something different. Every craft kit comes with a small amount of black paint and a small amount of either Sweetie Jane or flower sack. You're gonna get a small amount of top coat, a little bit of wax, a paintbrush. Yours might look different. We had to use a few different brands and then a set of corbels. First, you're gonna mix up your black paint. It doesn't really matter if it's thick or thin. This is just for a base coat. You're gonna do one part paint to one part water. It's a very little bit of water that it takes to do it, so don't add too much. I mixed it up with a fork, but I'm just gonna use my brush because it's just the teeniest, tiniest little bit of paint to make sure all the powder is well mixed. If you have just a little bit left and you need a little bit more black paint because the MDF really soaks it in, just add a little bit more water because this black is so pigmented, it can go on thin and it's just fine. Really, you're just staining the corbel. So the next step is gonna be creating a resist because if you just paint milk paint over the top of MDF, it won't crack, it'll just soak in. So you've got top coat and you've got wax. We're gonna do the top coat first, wax a few areas, and then we'll be ready for the last coat of paint. This doesn't need to be neat. We're going for a crusty, crazy, chippy situation. So don't worry about this. Just get it on there. I'm not gonna do the bottom because nobody's gonna see that because these are gonna sit up. We've mixed up our milk paint the same way we did the black. This You either have Sweetie Jane or white in yours. And I'm just gonna use my brush to, like I said, go around the edge, make sure I got it all mixed. I can feel it's a little bit thick, so I'm just gonna add like the teeniest bit of water. If you get it too thin, then you'll have a situation on your hands. Melted milkshake consistency, that's about perfect. Okay, so I've got my wax. You don't have to do this. You can save this and just use it to wax your piece. So you're gonna just put a little bit of wax along the edges for some extra resist and chippy. So it's really important that you get all the way good coverage on your base coat, even if you have to add more water to stain it, because you just never quite know where it'll chip. If you want to save your wax to seal your corbels after, you absolutely can. I don't really ever use a sealer on mine, because I like the way that they look raw. When your sealer is almost all the way dry, but it's still a little tacky and wet in a few areas, you're ready for your final coat of milk paint. If you have white, it might take two coats, just kind of depends on the coverage you want. Again, I'm not worried about perfection because I want it to be chippy and yummy. You don't want full coverage. Remember, we're going for chippy. The full like black coat is really what's gonna shine here. So now that I've got one coat on here, I'm gonna heat gun it. If you don't have a heat gun, just use a blow dryer. This really is gonna help make it chippy. Do you see right here where you kind of separated a little bit? This is where I used the wax and that helped create a resist. I've got them mostly dry, so I'm gonna just take the little bit of milk paint that I have left over to do one more coat. You can even add just a little dab of water to stretch out that last coat. Because guess what? Water helps reactivate the paint and help make it chippy. So don't worry if you have to water down the little dab of milk paint you have left. So that way you can finish getting it all painted. If you want, you can even paint the bottom. You can see it's already starting to chip, which is important, but I'm just gonna come over this and wet distress. You can also use sandpaper, but the water helps to really give you some more chippy crackle because I'm gonna come one last time with a heat gun and see what kind of chippy I can get. You can see it's really wet, like the water's dripping off as I'm distressing it. You could just use your finger and wipe off any of the chips. And I, even after you heat gun it, it'll continue to chip as it really dries naturally. If you happen to have sandpaper, you can also hit it with some 220 and that'll just make it a little bit better. Be careful not to go through your dark undercoat because that's what looks the best. If you want to seal them, you can use a lint-free rag or you can even just use a little paper towel. 
and add a little bit of wax and you can see just gives you a little bit of finish on there. My chippy corbels are all finished. I'm just gonna reiterate some of the tips that are really important. One, make sure you get black all the way over, even if you have to water it down and do like a stain. Two, make sure that black is all the way dry before you apply your top coat and your wax resist. Three, make sure that that top coat is not all the way dry before your first coat of paint. Four, when you put that second coat of color, whether it's white or Sweetie Jane, remember, you don't want full coverage. You just want it to be on there. A couple of loose coats is great because you're gonna be taking off a lot. And is this five? Is this five, seven? Last but not least, five or six, I don't know where I'm at. You're going to want to use a heat gun or a blow dryer to get that chippy. Make sure you use lots of water when you're wet distressing, blow dry and heat gun it again, and force it to do what you want it to do. And you can have some chippy corbels. We wound up also doing a white version of the same corbel with the flower sack paint instead of Sweetie Jane. Both of them turned out awesome. If you wanna get our next subscription box, which is gonna be shipped out in October, perfect for the holidays, it's gonna include some cutout ornaments as well as stencils and a stencil brush. We'll put the link below and you can look it up at jamierayvintage.com. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.